Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting again to episode 6 of Demon Slayer, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <gasps> I literally hate my voice right now. <laughs> you look good. Is that Nesco? <laughs> it is. <laughs> he looks so good. Oh my god. I think he's gonna probably have Nesco stay with him. Um, stay while he goes. Or, I mean, but I really want Nesco to go too at the same time. And then what I'm kind of hoping is that by today, by the end of today's episode, is that we get to see all five of these students all together. Because the last one has to be the dude with the freaking forehead. That's my guess. Maybe he, I don't know. <clears throat> the one time I wish I had like permanent. That are like some really good hot tea. <laughs> uh. Well, hopefully we'll learn more about it later on. Is that food? Ah. <clears throat> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Don't make me cry.
Damn. I'm still looking for him, too. Yeah. Mm. One, he needs fucking sleep. I've been looking for him ever since, right? No, he believes you. Oh, shit. He didn't deserve that. <laughs> oh, Chris, everyone's going to look at him. <laughs> He does believe you. He said it already. He believes you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He doesn't care. No, because someone else could be taken. If he goes to sleep. Not when lives are on the line. See, but I got a weird feeling that they could, mm -mm, mm -mm. even if she doesn't go outside and she's safe, a demon could still come inside, yank her ass up. That's it. She's still walking somewhere by herself, even though she's safe in her own house. Told you. See? Why the hell didn't someone walk with her? Y'all ain't got no freaking maid or some shit? Y'all live in this big ass place.
course, going to take her the most when she's the most vulnerable. Sleeping. God damn. You about to find out, honey. That's some nightmare on Elm Street shit. Bye-bye. Unless Tanjiro, like, gets his ass up in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bye-bye. Just follow him. Smell the girl. Mm -hmm. The stone. Ooh. Uh, Okay, damn. Take the girl. <clears throat> that too. And it's gonna come right there. The current sensibility sleep. But who knows how long it's going to take to find that.
That is really gross. behind I mean, instead of hiding in there, why don't you just be a- <laughs> Come out! Damn, don't be a fucking coward! Yeah. And then you got this one. My God. Mm -mm. Just know you can't save everyone. Damn. I mean, you could have just. <laughs> Back up. Oh, there we go, let's go! <laughs> I got water when she's gonna come out! Play something, he ain't gonna leave just like that. She's not gonna hurt you.
Like, damn. I mean, girl, shit. She made me want to learn how to fight. <laughs> I feel like any demon she sees, she just imagines them at a door. <laughs> and she just kicks them. Like, this dude, like, the fucking FBI one and so much more. And she just kicks their ass. I love Nesco. She's too, mm, she's precious, but she's badass. Mm. Ugh. It's just what I've learned with this show, even with this episode, is that with this job, you think you can save everyone, but honestly, you dead ass can't. And it's the hardest thing that he's going to have to go through. I mean, I thought that at least the girl who got kidnapped last week going on to this week, she possibly was going to be de um, dead. But then at the same time, I was like, no, I think they're going to save her. She's going to be fine. And then when he said, if her hair pins are a hair, gone. I'm like, it's not fair. It really is. I don't like the fact that they literally... It, it, it that like the reference of the girl laying in her food time that had to it was not really kind of a reference to Nightmare on Elm Street, but it had a lot of feels towards it. And I'm just like, yeah, I feel like she's gonna get taken away at the most vulnerable place, aka when you're sleeping, because that is when you're most vulnerable and anything could happen to you. Now, like I said, why the heck did no one <laughs> no one can't like help her to her room with her mother just like no you can do it by yourself honey you know you're old enough you're 16 you can do it yourself huh? why is my aunt calling me i'll message her back in a minute but it's just like i i, I don't know what else to say about it it's just mm. But it's so weird, it's like, when the demon said she's 16, I'm guessing that was when she's, like, the most ripest at, like, it's core in a way, and, like, the best time to eat her, which is really gross. Thank God we didn't get to see in the episode, like, her getting eaten. I, I just, mm-mm. If that would have happened, I would have been like, nope. <laughs> no. But just... I, I do feel bad for Wes's face because he really, truly wanted to save her. And now she's gone. I also thought that what the plan was that they were going to do, besides the girl getting kidnapped, I literally thought one of them was going to dress up as a girl. Even though that plan probably wouldn't have worked. Because then the demon would have known the difference between a guy and girl. Come on. But, mm -mm. Nezuko, she's going to be kicking ass next week. She's just going to, like, <laughs> kick him. And his head is just going to go like this. <laughs> like, whack a mole type shit. <laughs> that is what it's going to be like. Like, oh, my God. Mm, I fucking can't. <laughs> I just, I just can't wait till next Saturday because she's Nezuko is gonna kick some major ass. I mean, and now learning the truth that like she is like when she looks at human, they're no matter they're like no matter what, they're family. When she looks at demons, it's like kick their ass. <laughs> oh my baby, she's so precious, and I love her. And then now I just want that dang cute little figure that they released. I think a couple, I think a week or two ago. I'm not 100% sure. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode six of Demon Slayer. If you guys enjoyed it. <clears throat> God, I really hate my throat right now. Please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe, my, <clears throat> subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all officially next Saturday for episode seven. Bye, guys.